Hello and welcome back to Revolving Pens on YouTube. Today I want to talk about the Namiki Emperor 2022 Limited Edition, which is the elephant pen. So this is a, a large pen from Namiki. It has colorful artwork. It has a large elephant and raised maquille. And being a <coughs> emperor pen, it has a large number 50 nib with a arushi coated plastic feed. The pen fills as an eyedropper or ink stop pen. So the section on screws, you put the ink in the barrel. And then uh, if you want the ink to flow into the section, you have to unscrew the, the blind cap. So that pulls back on a rod, which has a stopper attached. So it frees up the section um, and connects it to the ink reservoir in the body of the pen. So you can write a long time with it, with the, the uh, blind cap closed, which seals off the section from the ink reservoir. There's a lot of ink stored in here in the section, but uh, if you wanna write for a long time or if it runs dry, you just open it back up again, ink flows and Bob's your uncle. So this pen came out, word of this pen came out in the summer of this year. So here we have a design brief from, from Namiki. I don't know if this was leaked or sort of released intentionally, but we have a, what looks like an internal document from July. So the Hiratsuka Makie Group Product Planning Division 2022 Namiki Emperor Limited Edition Elephant. I inserted Emperor. So the number 50 size pen is uh, an Emperor if it has Makie on it. And of course this has Makie. So the vest type again, no clip. And it has this, this squared off end. It's not really a square, not really flat square. It has a little bit of roundness, roundedness to it. And the end of the pen here has a little bit of taper. So the barrel tapers about starting here with the blind cap. This is actually a nice feature because it reduces um, the, visual, the visual weight of the pen. I have uh, also pens in this general size and shape like the Danny Trio Genkai. And the Genkai does, has no taper here on the end. And that pen, that pen carries, uh, just carries more visual weight. It looks like it's not tapered. It looks like it flares out. So this, this taper is actually pretty well, pretty well thought out. Anyway, um, pen body, vest type. Here's the Artisan Memoru, and it talks about the, the cap. So the background is sunset. In case you're wondering whether this is sunset or sunrise, it is sunset in Togadashi Makie. So this is a multi-layered but polished um, near flat Makie. Uh, there are elephants, uh, the tree and the birds here. These are raised, Takamakie. And on the body of the pen, we have the large elephant, the bull elephant in Shishia Togidashi Takamakie and Raden. So this is raised and polished and unevenly raised and polished Makie. So we'll take a look at that a little bit more with the photos, but and Mother of Pearl. And then the, the birds here are in raised Makie. So based on this design brief that was released, which doesn't contain a great photo and certainly depicts a pen that is a bit of a departure for Namiki. These bright colors and this African scene, it's kind of strange. There's no scenes like this in Japan and nothing in Japanese history. So uh, I was one thought, well, I'm not, if I'm offered this pen or I have the chance to buy this pen, I'm, I'm not gonna buy it. it. It seems to be an oddball. Well, it turns out that once you see it in person, you realize it's a, it's a Namiki through and through. So what we have here is a, a very large, again, Namiki pen, with a very colorful cap, and most of it is Togarashi Makie, so it's, it's flat, but it also, in that flatness, contains a, a gradient, or Bokashi, and very fine line work. So we have a very fine line work that separates the red and the orange, again here, uh, more orange, different shade of orange, red, <laughs> different shade of orange uh, fading into yellow, this bright yellow cap. And then on top of that, we have raised Makie. 
the black of the tree and elephants and birds that's in Takamaki it's raised up off the off the uh, surface so we'll get a closer look at it later but a closer look than this even but you can also see right now that inset here and in here there is a rodin so in this case the rodin is nacre it's you know from a uh, shellfish um, rodin can be about anything but often it is nacre so mother of pearl and then the the body of the pen contains wow on the the front and again there is a front to namiki pens because the caps always screw on in the same place so the front of the pen has this very uh, in-your-face uh, depiction of a bull elephant in Shishiai Takeda Togedashi takamaki -e. So this is um, polished and raised, raised and polished um, ma makie, uh, urushi work, but it's unevenly raised. So parts of it are flatter than others. It's a very uh, difficult technique to accomplish. And then the, these large tusks, these are in uh, nacre rodin. A different kind of rodin than its hip up here, right? So this is primarily white and that flashes pinks and purples. And this is just, well, there's blues and purples and, and pinks. It, um, anyway, different kind of rodin. And then we have these grasses and these egrets that form a symbiotic relationship with the elephants. These are uh, in uh, Takamaki. So we also see some color on the the body of the pen, also this green, we'll see that maybe on the back of the pen a little bit better. But what we have here is a cap that is certainly full of color and may not be stereotypical Namiki, but a body of the pen that has a bit more sober colors, the, the browns, the golds, and the uh, taupes that are, and blacks that are maybe a bit more commonly associated with Arushi and, and Makie. This is just another look at the pen <laughs> with uh, you know, the background included. Um, let's take a look at the cap real close. So again, we have uh, this deep red, orange, yellow, and a fade and in transition into, into orange, this Bokashi technique. And these are th real thin painted lines, hand painted lines um, sprinkled with gold particles that form these uh, boundaries. So a very clear separation of the uh, colors here. And on top of that are these raised birds. And you can see they're not just black. So they're, e they're either black or dark blue with these lighter somehow um, blue flakes in them. So also on the trees, it's not just flat black. It has these flakes of blue, and the same goes for the elephant. We can look a little, a little closer even. So, actually a lot closer. <laughs> this is a 2x macro. Uh, here's the baby elephant with the blue flakes and the black background and the rod and sprinkled in. And you can get a sense of how raised this is off the surface. And also, how very clearly distinct the, these color bands are. So here we have yellow with some sort of medical particle sprinkled on it. And again, that's another thing here. These colors just aren't flat. They have their maquillé. They have gold or silver, or gold and silver particles sprinkled in them. And boy, you really get a sense of the how uh, well this is raised here, can't you? So we transition into these trees and you know these rotten pieces, these would be placed by hand. Uh, and again, we can see the uh, blue flakes that are in the uh, black here. So what kind of looks like black, even to the, to the naked eye, is a far more complicated you know, design and a well, bit of artwork that is actually really very impressive, even though at first glance, <laughs> from you know, the bad photo, and even in the hand, um, this sort of detail isn't necessarily apparent, but when you when you get a close look at it, it's, it's certainly impressive. Let's move to the body of the pen, because I think, you know, what is, you know, the most dramatic part of this pen, which is this bull elephant, which is, you know, 
right in front of us. It's facing us and we have the trunk here and the large tusks and you know the eyes seem to be looking so looking right at us. You know if we uh, look and of course there's some some grasses and some some uh, nasiji particles and some smaller gold particles that kind of set a, the ground, you know, put anchors the elephant on the, the earth <laughs> and gives a place uh, also for the egrets to be. But if we look pretty close, we can see, you know, one type of gold particle and then another and then another and yet another. So we're at, at four now, uh, probably five at least different types of gold particles. Now what forms the the elephant here this is actually really interesting this seems to be kind of not only um, you know raised and polished maquillage but there seems to be clumps of either i don't know it could be whatever they used to build it up with um, charcoal or maybe this is where they used baked tin or, or just tons and tons of <laughs> silver powder or platinum powders or something anyway um it's very impressive you know these ridges are our highest, and these ridges are sort of reminiscent of the pen I showed in the previous video, the Cobra pen, that were the, the scales and the um, underside of the <laughs> throat of the snake. Anyway, have also has these ridges, but these are the highest um, layers of maquillage. And then you can see it steps down a little bit right here, and then you get well, the origin of the, the tusks and that steps down again. <laughs> so there's, you know, here's the base of the pen right there. There's a raised to the body of the elephant. It's raised up here again. Uh, this here is at the same level. Uh, the lower eyelid is raised up a little bit, but yet it's not as high as the trunk. And then the trunk has levels. So this is really incredible <laughs> maquillage and you can really feel um, really feel, easily feel with your fingers, the different heights of this pen. It's super, super cool. Uh, let's look a little closer, shall we? It, okay, maybe a lot closer. So this is <laughs> another 2X macro. We can see um, whatever, whatever material particles is used to build this up, you get these little uh, mounts. And so that forms the texture of the, the elephant skin. We have black polish for the eyes, and then there's also some sort of particle in here, probably gold, more gold dust, uh, probably silver, not just dust, particles. Um, the, the metal powders come in different grains or sizes, and here you can again see there is a gradient of the particles, so there's shading with the metal particles. You know, this is, this is maquillage, this is the highest level of maquillage. Uh, again, you can just see the texture of the skin and uh, the way there's different level, one level, second level, uh, third level, fourth level, fifth level on the ridge. Just incredible. This must have been so much work. And then we have the inset of, of the nacre riding on the tusks. Just amazing. And so, so dynamic as well. You, know, you really get this sense of a, a living creature, right? We'll look at it from the, the side. It's a really cool view from the side, actually. Uh, maybe even more of a sense that it's, it's looking at you. You know, we get the tusk, and then obviously this must be, you know, the elephant's leg. And uh, get a bit of the ear here as well. So let's do what we do here. Let's look real close. So this, this rod in was cut into a, a sheet, the shape of the tusk, and then pressed in here, and then forced to crack. So there's a, this is a type of uh, rod and work, uh, cracked rod and that's actually in this uh, large and you know very specific curved shape that must form a tusk, a recognizable tusk. This is actually a statement bit of work here uh, because there's, again, there's two of them and you want it to crack in an aesthetically pleasing way and it certainly did so here. Um, We'll look at more right here, this zone. You can see that there's the gold particles that are mixed in give the shading. See some over here too. It's all very, um, very well thought out. You can see how it raises up and then forms these ridges. Just, man, 
this is incredible even even the eyelid there um, very very deep it's very high here lowers get down to the side these these um, these ridges become a little lower and then there's a step down to here and another step down to here and then it's just a texture throughout here let's look at um, the back of the pen because there's more going on oops here on the back of the pen you can see that gold particles of different size and different now gradients so it's spartan here and dense here and spartan and then dense it's it, it's giving you a layered even though it's completely flat maquillage there it's polished flat it's giving you a sense of depth in the scenery of, pers of perspective here is another egret uh, in white maquillage which this is a bit of a, a flex as well because arushi doesn't come in white you know you have to color it very carefully and uh, get it to look white again though there's also metal particles in here probably silver uh, several different types of gold and there's also marugani in here just notice that so <laughs> look at these there's silver gold in two there's well there's silver and gold particles here in this land are about the same size but then the marugane is sprinkled in the gold particles here these are a completely different size they're possibly maybe the same size here that forms these lines again all this is hand drawn then we have green arushi which is also a bit of a flex you want this to get the get consistent green it's very difficult so uh, this has silver particles in it um, hand painted lines that very clearly delineate this area from this and then the ears so the ears of the elephant wrap around to the back of the pen so you know the back of a namiki uh, limited edition especially is not sterile there's artwork back here too and often the art from the front wraps around to the back in this case it's a super cool effect because these ears wrap around and you can uh, get a good sense again of the the raised nature of this taka makie look at this bridge here very clearly defined just sits on top of this togadashi makie um, incredible work you know multi uh, techniques or multiple techniques uh, many different metal powders and um, whatever they're using to raise the makie here so again this is uh, incredible incredible work it's an amazing pen you know to to um, hold this pen and you see it in a lot of normal light it is far more subdued than the, than the photo here so I'm hitting this with a lot of light but if you get the pen in bright light even a little bit of sunlight which isn't necessarily the greatest thing for Arushi but it, it won't vaporize it either it's you know, sunlight isn't um, immediate kryptonite for Arushi you know if you take it outside and take a look at it you'll it'll be okay you know um, the colors do actually pop like what is shown in the photo but in normal everyday use the, the colors are, are a bit more subdued as you might expect so anyway yeah this is the 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 look the discussion I wanted to give on the incredible Namiki limited edition for 2022 in the Emperor size. Uh, leave your questions and comments below and we'll see you in the next one.